see uh, yeah yesterday we completed till question number 12 am i right so what about the uh, tan x sum tan x derivative is secant square x okay secant square x is clearly greater than 0 tan x also increasing function tan x is a increasing function from 0 to pi by 2 because when we observe the graph of the given function tan x it is clearly increasing is it clear students now Am I audible? Yes. Yeah. Uh, now let's do the question number 13. Yeah. 13th question. So, uh, on which of the following intervals is a function f is given by f of x is equal to? x to the power of 100 plus sin x minus 1 decreasing decreasing right so it is also a very easy question okay f of x is equal to x to the power of 100 okay and uh, plus sin x minus 1 so this is a given function so in that first subdivision is 0 comma 1 so before that we have to differentiate this f dash of x is equal to 100 times of x to the power of 99 sin x derivative is cos x minus 1 derivative is 0 let us take this is equation 1 okay this is equation 1 just a moment students reconsider this problem yeah all of you do this problem Check it
sir your mic is off sir Yes, students. Sorry for inconvenience. And uh, actually, yesterday we spoke. Uh, I spoke to Suresh sir. We all discussed. It. So, uh, coming to the unit test, um, forty are all MCQ solo. Forty questions are MCQ solo, and um, in that almost uh, eight questions coming from inverse trigonometry. 18th question almost approximately 18 questions coming from continuity and differentiability and remaining and all applications of derivative clear so in that uh, first you have to practice uh, like uh, in ncert then after uh, uh, like uh, you have to if you are having any material pdf file like that you have to practice mcqs from rsa rsa agarwal Because in our edition, we also few questions only there, so and uh, quite difficult questions are there in our edition, ma. So that you can go through R S Agarwal. Okay, plenty of questions are there in R S Agarwal book bag, so you can go through that. Okay, if possible, we are going to give worksheet. It's not uh, compulsory. I mean, uh, so just we are planning. it may or may not but you have to practice first ncert then rsa i think so school provided audition am i right yes sir yes in that uh, few questions are uh, highly difficult for all the students yes sir okay so if possible you can download the pdf uh, like uh, uh, rs agarwal you can practice uh, those mcqs it's better So should we do MCQs? Yes, Jyotia. Our unit test it will be MCQs or only for math, sir? Mm, I think so. All almost all all, all MCQs alone, all exams, all subject they may give MCQs. Okay, sir. Okay. Math completely MCQs alone. Okay. So should we practice CBSE website MCQs, sir? Sorry. Sir, should we practice CBSE website MCQs, sir? Ah, uh, yeah, you have to practice. But I told you, no, know, ah, uh, R S Agarwal, that you have to practice. Then after you practice remaining, concept is same. Alan, we forming the question is different. Okay, sir. Okay. Right. In that maximum minimum, you may get less number of questions. See, tangent and the increasing, decreasing, you may get uh, more number of questions. Okay, out of that sixteen, sixteen or fourteen, fourteen questions. Eight plus eighteen, uh, almost twenty-six. Twenty-six plus fourteen. okay ma right okay uh, right in this question i differentiated we got f dash of x okay so in that first sub division they given zero come on in this interval we have to check whether the given function is increasing increasing or decreasing see in interval in interval This zero comma one first uh, individually you have to check it. So what about uh, cos x comma cos zero cos one it is greater than zero, and uh, what about hundred into hundred into x to the power of ninety nine? Is it greater than zero in this interval? Yes, this is also greater than zero. So which implies 
100 x power 99 plus cos x also greater than 0. So this is nothing but f dash of x is greater than 0. For, uh, for all, for each x belongs to 0, 1. Nothing but, uh, so what can we conclude? Given function is increasing or decreasing. Therefore, f of x is increasing, strictly increasing. Okay. In first subdivision, it is increasing. Let us see second subdivision. Second subdivision, pi by 2 to pi. In second quadrant. So one minute, can you scroll up to? Yeah. Second subdivision is pi by 2 to pi. See here, in second quadrant, second quadrant, in this interval, what about cos x? Amma? Cos x. Greater than 0 or lesser than 0? Lesser than 0. Yes. F dash is 100 x to the power of 99 plus cos x. So we have to check separately. So cos x is clearly lesser than 0. Comma. What about 100 into x to the power of 99? Lesser than 0 or greater than 0? Greater than 0. It is greater than 0 because you know pi by t, you can change it to numerical value. Pi value is 3.14. Okay. So pi by 2 value is 1.57. Is it clear? So you can substitute in place of x from 1.57 to 3.14, it will be greater than 0 always. And also, what about this 100 x power 99 and cos x, which is having highest value? 100. Yeah, 100. So shall I put here greater than? Yeah, greater than means what is f dash of x here? OK, what is that? Yeah. So now 100 x to the power of 99 plus cos x will give a positive value. Now this is nothing but f dash of x. See here, what is f dash of x finally? Greater than 0. Therefore, what can we conclude here? f of x is strictly increasing. Yeah. So in second subdivision also, clearly it is increasing. But the question is, in which of the following is decreasing? Now next, 0 to pi by 2, first quadrant. 0 to pi by 2, let us see whether given function is increasing or decreasing. Right, again, what about cos x? Amma? Cos x is clearly greater than 0 in first quadrant. 100 into x power 99 also greater than 0. 0 to pi by 2. Okay, because positive value solve, which implies, what about f dash of x? Adding both 100 x to the power of 99 plus cos x also greater than 0. So in this intervals also, f of x is increasing. Increasing. So finally, what we can conclude? None of this is the right answer. First sub interval increasing, second is increasing, third is increasing. So the correct option is none of this. D option is correct. Clear strings. If they give the question in NCRT, you have to write the steps like this. Increasing 0 to pi by 2. Any doubts in this question? Right. Next. Okay. Uh, for what value of a, the function f is given by f of x is equal to x squared plus a x plus 1 e is increasing on 1 comma 2. <clears throat> right. This type of questions are important. Look at here. Is it clear, Amma? Sir. Yeah. So x square plus ax plus 1. The given interval is 1 comma 2. Closed interval they given. They have given. Right? See, uh, clearly they given it is increasing. To find a value, definitely they will give any one of the condition, either increasing or decreasing. Okay? 
so for what value of a the given function is increasing in given interval let's see same procedure f dash of x find f dash of x so 2x plus a fine clearly clearly what about f of x increasing or decreasing in the given question increasing whenever it is increasing what about f dash of x yes students what about f dash of x greater than greater than 0 or equal to 0 okay increasing alone they mention so that greater than or equal to 0 fine so which implies see here 2x plus a greater than or equal to 0 if it is greater than or equal to 0 means you may take only greater than also no problem okay so 2x is greater than minus a which implies x is greater than or equal to minus a by 2 is it clear this is one condition either this may you may write also like this also you can write minus a by 2 lesser than or equal to x x is greater than or equal to a or else you may write minus a by 2 lesser than or equal to x also both will be right but so what is a given interval here 1 comma 2 so f of x is equal to x square plus ax plus 1 for each x belongs to 1 comma 2 here x belongs to close interval 1 comma 2 nothing but shall i take here given given that here given interval is x is belongs to close interval 1 comma 2 how can you write this close interval 1 comma 2 1 lesser than or equal to x lesser than or equal to, shall i write like this yes students okay from this from this see here shall i write here minus a by 2 lesser than or equal to x lesser than or equal to they given from this okay from these two from these two what is a minus a by 2 value if i comparing these two minus a by 2 is equating to yes shall i equate one is equal to minus a by 2 so which implies a is equal to minus 2 this is the required answer okay so already they given interval the domain already given x is belongs to close interval 1 comma 2 that can be written as 1 lesser than or equal to x lesser than or equal to already they given this condition so already they given increasing so that you should take f dash of x greater than or equal to 0 so that is 2x plus a is greater than or equal to 0 so x is greater than or equal to minus a by 2 it is better to write minus a by 2 lesser than or equal to x now we can easily compare okay when we compare we get a is equal to minus 2 so when a is equal to minus 2 the function is increasing in the given interval 1 comma 2 you have to write like that therefore the given function increasing and given interval 1 comma 2 if a is equal to minus 2 that's all question number 15 i if i be any interval disjoint from minus 1 comma 1 okay i is any other interval other than this interval prove that the given function f of x is equal to x plus 1 by x is increasing on i not in this interval okay sir. yeah so in the previous question sir they are asking the values of a for which the function will be increasing now sir okay answer will be like uh, greater than minus 2 now sir for all values of a greater than minus 2 the function will be increasing now sir at minus 2 we get 0 sir okay a is equal to at minus 2 f dash of x will be 0 sir 
if we substitute any value greater than that, it will still be increasing. So you are saying that when a is equal to minus two, then this will becomes zero. Is it always zero when x is equal to one alone? It will be zero. Then remaining one point one two till two, it will be greater than zero alone. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. What is the answer they given actually? Sir, they given greater than minus two. Sir. Greater than minus two, they have given now. Okay, that is x greater than minus a by two. So when a value becomes okay, in case for example, if we substitute minus two, x is equal to one. Fine. So if I take a is greater than minus two, so minus two minus plus two, two point one, two point two, it will be tends to right. So it is surely either equal or greater than. Greater than or equal to two cases, it will be okay because when a greater than or equal to minus two alone, then x is uh, the values are belongs to one comma two. This interval. Strange. Okay, you can take greater than or equal to two. That is absolutely right. I have taken equal to also correct because when I take minus two, so x is equal to one. One is clearly belongs to given interval one to two. It, but a value should not be lesser than minus two, because whenever it is lesser than minus two, x value should not belongs to the given interval. According to this condition, okay, either equal or greater than or equal. You can write greater than or equal to two minus two. Okay, ma. Right. Because clearly, given given function is a quadratic uh, function, or quadratic always it is continuous, always it is differentiable. If they give modulus x in that cases, in that cases we have to check a value very carefully. It is not differentiable. It is not differentiable at that time. A must be only greater than two. It should not be equal to minus two. Only greater than minus two. At the time, this is the correct answer. We should not take equal. When we take equal, it is not uh, differentiable again. Okay, uh, that we will see later. The OBT concept will discuss this kind of questions. Okay, right. Question number fifteen. So, what is the given function x plus? f of x is equal to x plus one by x, and the given interval one comma one. So I is any other interval which is disjoint from this interval. Okay. All of you find f dash of x. Find critical values. F dash of x one. What about one by x derivative? Minus one by x square. So after finding f dash of x, okay, to find the critical values, we have to equating f dash of x to zero. So one minus one by x square is equal to zero, so which implies x square is equal to one. So x is equal to plus or minus one. Plus or minus one. Now, what do you observe here? So plus or minus one clearly belongs to the given interval, but we have to consider other than this interval. Okay, in the question, they mention clearly i is any other interval. I is any interval disjoint from this interval. So you have to take the real line. You have to take the real line from minus infinity to plus infinity, minus infinity to plus infinity, right? Now so you can draw a little. Bit. Yeah. Minus infinity, plus infinity. Here the critical values are. We got minus one, plus one. 
So, what are the disjoint intervals here we are getting? Minus infinity to minus infinity to minus 1, one minus 1 to 1, 1 to infinity. Okay, 1 to infinity. Then strings. Hmm. You have to check that f dash of x value from minus infinity to minus 1, whether it is greater than 0 or lesser than 0. That we need to check now, whether it is increasing or decreasing. Like that. What shall we do? I am going to take the intervals here. So, what are the intervals we need to take here? Yes. Simple question. Fast link. So this year we have to take x lesser than minus 1 here x greater than 1. Nothing but x lesser than minus 1 nothing but the interval is minus infinity to minus 1. x greater than 1 means 1 to infinity. And uh, remaining interval minus 1 to 1. Yeah. First I am going to take uh, here uh, in this interval. In the question clearly. We have to show that other than that intervals, it is increasing. First, I want to check this minus 1 in this interval, whether the given function increasing or decreasing, strictly increasing or decreasing. Okay. So now, first, the given interval. In interval, minus 1 comma 1. See students, they given close interval minus 1 comma 1, but when you want to take the interval, you, sh you should take open interval. Why? Why we want to take uh, min open interval minus 1 comma, why can't we take close interval? Anyone? To check the f dash of x values, always we, we are taking the open interval, we should not take closed interval. Okay, so the reason is if you want to check the differentiability condition, always you should check in open interval because in mean value theorems we observed already. Mean value theorem, it is continuous in closed interval, but differentiable always we check in open interval. Okay, so in this open interval, in this open interval, so uh, in this interval means whenever x is belongs to this interval, minus 1 lesser than x lesser than 1. We can write like this. But in f dash of x, what is the f dash of x? We got it here. 1 minus 1 by x square. Okay. Now, when I squaring on both sides, when I squaring on both sides, shall I write like this? When I squaring on both sides, x square is, uh, what shall we write here? Yes. x square is lesser than 1, we'll write, or x square is greater than will write anyone lesser than one then a cross multiply shall i write from this uh, one by one lesser than one by x square yes this one by x square you can take it left side one minus one by x square okay is lesser than zero see here so x square when i squaring this we get x square lesser than 1 after the dividing with x square on both sides. So when I take 1 by uh, one by x square is left side, we get it. This is nothing but f dash of x, which implies f dash of x is clearly lesser than 0. So in this interval, what about the given function amount? Increasing or decreasing whenever it is lesser than 0? Yes. So f of x is decreasing. Okay, anyhow, here 
we are decreasing in this interval it is decreasing now we have to check the remaining remaining conditions so i'm going to check take uh, x is lesser than see i told you in 99 percent if it is decreasing here so remaining should be increasing alternatively only few problems it is continuously increasing continuously decreasing okay when i take x is lesser than minus one and x is greater than one x is lesser than or x is greater than one okay fine so uh, when i do the square when we do the square so what about you? yeah just a minute Yes, students. You note it down. Okay, sir. Okay. And also here, the thing is you have to remember it is decreasing. F of x is decreasing in minus one comma one except zero. Yes or no? At zero, what will happen here? When you substitute zero, one by zero means infinite. Undefined. So other than the zero. Okay. Now uh, remaining, you have to observe that remaining interval. So in uh, interval, all of you check in the interval minus one to minus infinity to minus one. What about in this interval, students? So either we can take uh, minus uh, infinity to minus one, or else one to infinity. In both the intervals, nothing but uh, x is lesser than minus one, and x is greater than one. So when I squaring, when we square here, x square. Both the cases, x square greater than one only will get. X square always greater than one. Right, so x square greater than one means one is greater than one by x square. Cross multiply, one minus one by x square. Take one by x square left side greater than zero. This is nothing but f dash of x is greater than zero. When f dash of x is greater than zero, which implies f of x is increasing or decreasing? Increasing. Yes. Increasing. So only in the interval minus one to one, it is decreasing. Remaining, either x is lesser than one, x square is greater than one. X is greater than one, x square is greater than one. You can take x is lesser than minus one means you may take x is equal to minus two. You can check it. X is equal to minus two. What about x square plus four? Greater than one. one. Yeah. Okay, sir. Okay. So here, or uh, or you can take. So when I take other interval, x lesser than minus one, x greater than one, x square always greater than one. So like that, finally, this is f dash of x. Therefore, what shall we write? F is strictly increasing in the intervals minus infinity to minus one. And one to infinity. That's all. Any doubts, friends? I differentiated. Uh, we got uh, the critical values. Critical values. So other than this interval minus one to one, remaining intervals are minus infinity to minus one, one to infinity. In that intervals, we proved that the given function is increasing. Increasing, right? We proved here it is a increasing. Next, so remaining questions also simple questions here. 
okay time is over yes students you can try to do this remaining questions and uh, today shall we take uh, one hour class